Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. We turn our attention now uh, to the spring sport as uh, Bulldog Softball is uh, the guest here now. And with us is assistant coach Adam Kirkpatrick. And uh, first of all, welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, great start by the Bulldogs in Florida. 22 games. Uh, you finished with a 15-7 and seven overall record. Uh, just talk about uh, that start and, and what it was like uh, being able to play so many games down in Florida. Oh, it was great. Uh, chance to get away, get uh, down there for 18 days, uh, get out in the sunshine, get in some dirt, some grass, uh, get on a natural surface. Um, 22 games, uh, we come back knowing a little bit more about ourselves. Um, obviously, you play that many games, you get a good, pretty good picture of who you are. Uh, some good competition down there. Uh, very pleased. Bulldogs, uh, their first uh, chance to get outdoors uh, since uh, last fall. Uh, what was it like being able to get out there, field some balls uh, on a different surface uh, outside? Yeah, it's always a little different. Uh, you got to make that transition into the natural surface. Uh, the ball doesn't bounce quite as true as it does on the indoor surfaces. Um, but the kids made a good, uh, a good uh, transition there. Uh, we were able to pick it up, and I thought we played played well. Good mix of some returning experience, uh, some newcomers that were added. Uh, talk about how they meshed together over the 22-game stretch. Yeah, uh, good good leadership from our upperclassmen. Uh, did a great job of showing the way, kind of uh, letting the younger kids know what we. Uh, what we expect from them. Um, the uh, freshman class, the newcomers, uh, got some transfers from some JCs and stuff. Uh, they did a great job of transitioning into our program and kind of following along, going, to, going with the program, and uh, did a good job of uh, meshing right in and really pleased with their effort. Over uh, 22 games, what have uh, the Bulldogs found out about themselves in terms of maybe some of the strengths that uh, you'll be able to put on the field uh, throughout the spring? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we're always looking to get better in every phase of the game. Uh, so strengths, weaknesses, sometimes you're, you're stronger in one phase and then stronger in another. It kind of bounces around a little bit. Um, you know, obviously we can get a little better in the defensive side. We can hit a little better. We can pitch a little better, all of those things. Uh, but, you know, we, we know we've got uh, some good players and some, uh, some players who are looking to step up, fill in, and uh, do a good job for us. Nice mix of competition that you face down there as well. Uh, some teams uh, from the north, uh, kind of like the Bulldogs, but some teams uh, from Florida that you were able to face as, as well in some non-league games. Yeah, we uh, faced uh, four opponents from the Sunshine State Conference there. That's a really strong conference. You usually have some ranked teams uh, at the end of the year, uh, five and three versus that competition. We were well pleased with that. A couple of tough luck losses uh, to a really good team in Tampa. Um, also, some of the teams from the north that we faced were some good teams, uh, ranked teams, West Virginia Wesleyan, um, Westchester, both ranked teams, and uh, took a couple of one-run losses there, uh, but played well in both games. Felt like we were very competitive. You won five of your, your first six games down there, and after 22 games and, and so many days, you'd think maybe it would wear on you a little bit, but you closed by winning three of your last four. Uh, mm -hmm. Just talk about uh, the finish down there and being able to win three of those last four games. Yeah, it takes a lot of resilience from players. That's a lot of games in a short amount of time, and uh, fatigue sets in, mental fatigue, physical fatigue. Uh, we felt like the players uh, did a good job of uh, kind of regathering. We had a, maybe a little lull at one point. Didn't. Uh, it kind of banged up a little bit, but uh, everybody refocused, did a great job of finishing out the trip. We were well pleased with that. Bulldogs get uh, started in conference play this weekend as you as you hit the road, uh, travel to uh, both Lake Erie and Ashland to talk about uh, going into conference play. What, what are some of the goals and expectations uh, for the Ferris State team? Well, you know, we always expect to win. We always expect to go and play our best, and that's the biggest thing. And, you know, I mean, if, you know, wins and losses will take care of themselves if you play your best, play at your potential. Um, you know, so many things go into it. Softball is a funny game. You know, breaks can go one way or the other, and it really has nothing to do with either team. Uh, environmental things, you know, the wind can blow a ball out, that kind of stuff, and so you can't really account for everything, but what you can account for is uh, playing at your at your highest potential, uh, giving your best. Obviously, uh, 22 games down in Florida uh, with some of the sun and the weather uh, that was great down there, uh, but then you come back and uh, you're back inside. How, how, how's that adjustment been uh, coming back indoors uh, here uh, since the return from Florida? Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're used to it. Uh, as, a, as a team, you know, when you're, when you're from the north, you, you get used to the inso inside work and then the outside work and stuff. And so I was, you know, a little disappointed to leave the, uh, the warm, sunny <laughs> climate down there. But, uh, you know, the summers are better here. Uh, and so we're looking forward to that and looking forward to the weather breaking for us and getting out on our own field and that kind of stuff. How important is a trip like that uh, early in the year in terms of bonding together as a, as a team and really getting to know each other uh, here early in the year? It is huge. Uh, it's, it's really important uh, with any team in any sport. You know, it's, it's a, a culture within your team, with the, between the players, coaches, uh, that family atmosphere that you're always trying to develop. And then when you're kind of isolated that way together for a long time, you know, you find out who you are from a personality and a character standpoint. And I thought our, our team did a great job of that. We were really pleased. First year for the Bulldogs here under head coach Wally King. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's it been like uh, working for Coach King and, uh, and what has he brought uh, here to this Ferris State program? It's, a, it's a, as good of an experience as I've ever had in, in, uh, in coaching. Coach King is infinitely knowledgeable of the sport, uh, played at a super high level. Um, you know, he brings with him a reputation 
as a, uh, as a very good clinician. Uh, teaches the game extremely well. I uh, was obviously super successful at other levels in the sport. Um, I was very, very pleased and, and privileged to have the opportunity to come and work under him and learn from him. Uh, learn what it takes to coach some of the other sides of the of the uh, the game itself. Uh, being from the pitching side, you kind of get uh, stuck in your lane sometimes. You, there's so much work there that uh, it's been really cool to uh, get the chance to learn a little more about the offensive side, the defensive side. Um, as far as working for somebody, he is uh, the best head coach I've ever worked for. Uh, the guy does a great job of giving us latitude to do our jobs. He delegates well, lets us lets us do what we need to do. Um, the kids seem to really love playing for him. Uh, brings a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, and the girls have, have, to a person, commented to both I and our other assistant uh, how much they enjoy playing for him and how good of a head coach he is. You mentioned, obviously, the, the pitching staff that you work with. Uh, what, what have you seen from the pitchers uh, in terms of those 22 games down in Florida? Uh, you know, really a lot of improvement since the fall. I've been very, very pleased with the effort that they've put in. Uh, you know, I have a saying that, you know, lots of people play softball. Pitchers and catchers work at softball. Uh, just the daily preparation is very difficult on a pitcher, and, and a lot of times it gets lost in, uh, in the fray of how difficult it is to be great at your craft there. Uh, we have six pitchers, which is a lot, and so all six, though, have done a great job of upping their game, raising their level. Had a great meeting with them this morning. Was very um, praised them a lot, you know, because it takes that kind of work ethic, that kind of focus. Uh, we stayed very focused over that 18 days. I thought our pitching performance was, was outstanding. Uh, most of the time, you know, we had a couple of hiccups here and there, like you always do. Uh, but from the progress from fall to now, I could not have been more pleased. Finally, here, uh, obviously, uh, you start GLIAC play a, a long month uh, here of uh, a lot of GLIAC games uh, mm -hmm. over the next month or so. Uh, talk about the, what, what you know about the conference. Uh, had a chance to face a couple conference schools down there, and yeah. and what, what do you know about the GLIAC going into the conference season? Well, the GLIAC's very good. Um, our conference is probably the strongest in our region uh, among the, the three conferences in our in our region. Um, every year at the top of our conference, uh, you have uh, the potential for somebody to emerge as a national contender. Um, obviously, Wayne State has been kind of at that point in the, in the past few years. Uh, Saginaw Valley has improved a lot in the last couple of years. They're very strong. We faced them there. Uh, a tough, tough game with them. They're athletic up and down the board. Ashland has always had a good program. Uh, Grand Valley has always got a good program. So um, our conference schedule is, is kind of heavily weighted towards the front side. We face a lot of tough competition early on and then uh, you know, as we go, maybe the, the, the competition comes down a little bit, but not much. Uh, it's always tough in conference. Well, Coach, congratulations on the great start. Best of luck to the Bulldogs as you begin conference play this weekend. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.